I am strong. I am fearless. I am courageous. I am beautiful. I can do all things. I am created to be me. I am a woman. And I am funky. I love having my family and friends on the show. And today I have someone who's really special and dear to my heart. She's my sister. She's beautiful. Uh, she rescues animals. She's a belly dancer. She's amazing. She's crazy. She's funny. And she's the reason I got this because she, uh, she took me to her tattoo artist to get this done. I love her dearly. My sister, Miss Maite Garcia. Hi! <laughs> Hi, my sister. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Emma came to say hi. <laughs> hi, Emma! I see your babies. Well, some of your hundreds of babies. You have how many now in the house? Um, in the house? Well, here on the couch, there's one, two, three, four, six. Six! Six. It's seven normally. Wow, that's a lot. A lot of babies. I met some of the babies because I got to come and see you recently. Yay. I know. I know. It was so chaotic. But that's Gosh. the world. It was good to see you, though. Oh, yeah. It was good to see you. We finally got to say hi and hug for a second. And I want to tell you one. The reason why I was able to come see you for a second was because my cousin Ia wanted to get a dog. And I said, well, that's a good idea. She said, but I want a specific dog. And I said, well, call my tape. Yeah. So she's looking, looking, and all of a sudden she's like, look, Maite has this dog right here. And I'm like, what? I said, that's a horse. <laughs> that thing is a horse, right? So I know. we ended up going, coming to see you, going to Vegas. We drove down yeah. and met with you. And this first time I went to Boogie Time, and we pulled up at the same time, and you had all your babies. And I'm like, look at all of these beautiful <laughs> gorgeous but you want to adopt you want to take them all home i know i know, I, know. I mean for yeah. me it's like I, I have i'm now i'm like i'm really good at separating like okay i'm just gonna take care of you until you find a family like, i'm really good at that now but before i'm like no he wants to be with me and no <laughs> exactly no, i keep it very professional when it comes to that <laughs> yeah no a lot of times that is the case like you get attached to the ones that you're kind of fostering or waiting for them to get a home and you're just like, oh, I've had it now for two, this this girl or this boy for two months, for three months, and it's oh, like, ah, yeah. oh, it's hard to depart with them. I know, but you know, I, that's why I make sure they're good homes, really good homes, and they'll yeah. take care of them. Yeah. yeah. So we walked into Boogie Time, and um, which is your facility, so tell us about it so people know. Oh man. I mean, I've been rescuing dogs forever, and it was, it was a dream of mine to always have a place where kind of full circle, where you get a dog, you adopt it, and then you bring it back for boarding, grooming, and daycare. And in LA, it just wasn't going to happen because everything's so saturated over there. And I knew, I mean, I moved to Vegas with the intentions. I mean, every time I got a dog, I'd get it adopted really fast here because there's not that many rescues here. Yeah. So I was like, you know what, this is the per perfect place to do it. So I got the building and we opened and then COVID hit. So that was hard, but, um, you know, uh, it's been, it's been good. Like people adopt and then they keep bringing them back and I get to see them. And it's just been a dream of mine to always have that place. So I know you've been <laughs> wanting to do it for so long. And then when you were yeah. here in LA, we got to see each other more, but you said, I'm moving to Vegas. Well, first you said, I'm gonna go to Vegas. And you said, I'm moving to Vegas. I'm like, what yeah. Vegas? Are you kidding me? And you're like, yeah, I got to do it. And it was yeah. the best thing for you. You're, you're so happy. You're doing what you want to do, and you got your facility, and this is what you've been dreaming of for a long time. Yeah. No, Why it's not? definitely been a dream. I mean, it, you know, I still have – my house is still crazy, but it's less. It's less. It's <laughs> it's I know, because before here is like a farm. I mean, but still, you've got six dogs on your lap right now, so I mean – I know. I know. I got my, my little ones. But I, got, I got big ones. I got a German Shepherd back there. I got an English Shepherd. Oh, you know, I, I don't discriminate. I got, I got all <laughs> sizes, all sizes. <laughs> so when we came down there, um, you had a dog from my cousin Ia, and his name is Coffee. Coffee. So I want to update you. We have some footage we'll we'll be showing throughout this interview. So I just want to let people know when I first saw him, we were standing there at your facility at uh, a Boogie Time. 
and you're looking around and there's dogs everywhere. All of a sudden, uh, I look out the the window. You're, you're all windows. I look out, on, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm going, God, that poor guy, man. <laughs> this dog is dragging him across the parking lot. Like, this dog is, his face is this big. And I'm yeah. like, poor guy. Maybe he's coming to have his dog get washed or whatever, groomed. <laughs> you know, and then you look and go, oh, Ia, here's your puppy. And I'm like, that's, <laughs> that's not a puppy. <laughs> oh. I know you got like whoa your face was like yeah that's him right <laughs> oh my god but his name is coffee he is so precious I actually fell in love with him too so, so she good. we brought him back to LA and the funny thing is being in the car with him because he uh, had to hold on to him because he wanted to get in the front seat with me while I drove back oh and yeah. Oh, no. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. 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 He was, no, his face. I took a picture. His face was right here. And I'm going, no, you stay. You know, but finally he calmed down. She kept rubbing him and loving on him. And he's such a smart dog. Really? She already started training him the week. So he stayed here with us as well. He's just the sweetest guy. I'm so happy she got him. Um, and I said, welcome to the family coffee. Oh, He's so sweet. Yay. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you yeah. for adopting from me. That's awesome. I was so happy. I got her email. I was like, coffee? You want coffee? <laughs> oh, good. You know, because it's hard, you know, the, especially, you know, the whole pit bull thing. It's, it's really hard to get them adopted because a lot of places don't allow them here. Exactly. So I knew I was going to hang on to this dog for a while, but then it was like not even a week. I was like, Wow. It's so good. I love when that happens. Cause I mean, I just take them and I, I I've had this thing. I've, I've said it forever. There's a lid to every pot with, with adoption, you know, mm-hmm. and I'll, I'll hang on to a dog. I had this dog I had for two years. I was like, this dog's never going to be adopted. Got him adopted literally about two months ago. Aww. And I just, it, it was perfect for them. So it's times like these where it's like, it makes it worthwhile. So, so it does. <laughs> and so tell me how you, how do you end up getting the dogs in the first place? I mean, how are well, you? I mean, are people calling you, or you're finding them on the street? Oh yeah, no, especially now. Um, actually, coffee came from somebody who lost their home because of the whole oh. pandemic. But yeah. they come in different ways. I get phone calls. I'll res- rescue. I just rescued a whole group from Dominican Republic. That's the, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, they I just actually I have two left. All of them got adopted. Yeah, from they the uh, they Republic. flew them from the Dominican Republic. Really? Yep. I went to LA and I had to do customs and all that stuff. And I got them. I drove them back. So I do Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Houston, locally in Vegas, California. They're pretty, they're pretty good, but I do. If somebody calls me and they need my help, I'm there. Mm. Yeah. Wow. I've been doing it for years. (laughs) And it's really, it's a good feeling to be able to rescue the animals anyway. And then when they get rescued and then they have a home, it's just, it's amazing. It really is. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, it is. Yay, yay, yay. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so the next thing, we have to talk about the belly dancing because I've been trying to take your class. I know, I know, I know. I'm <laughs> going gonna, I'm gonna to take your class. I'm practicing. Yeah. I'm practicing. <laughs> <laughs> but not long ago, I was telling you, I saw this one that you did that had like, 150 dancers or something like crazy yeah, from yeah. everywhere. Tell me about that. What happened? That was, I mean, I, I was, I used to be in the belly dance world. That's how I started, you know? And then once I started, you know, touring and, and going, get, working with friends, I didn't, I just never re-entered. So I, when I started teaching, I was teaching people who've never taken belly dance before. And I was approached by this guy. His name is Big Daddy Shin. And it's, it's hilarious. He's the sweetest Asian big dude. He came to my class and I was like, what is this guy doing? He can dance. He knows belly dance and he, he really, was, Oh yeah. He, he's wow. been in it forever. And he came, it was during the pandemic. He called me up I think in December and he was like, Hey, I have connections to all the belly dancers around the world and call me crazy, but I want to do a 72 hour zoom where every hour around the world, people are teaching what he did it it. wow yeah yeah i've never even 
Yeah. I mean, there, there used to do seminars, people. That's why I learned belly dancing. We used to go to seminars and then at the oh. end of the seminar, people would perform and then, you know, it was like a hotel thing and, you know, we can't do that anymore. So yeah. he was like, yeah. people are itching to dance and just, you know, you know, we yeah. all are itching to, to do something. Yeah. So um, it was great because I was teaching people in Venezuela and Australia and wow. it was amazing. Yeah. That is yeah. so cool. Yeah, wow. we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it again. It, it's it was it was so much fun. Yeah, that is so cool. And I've been teaching. I've been teaching for a couple years now, and yeah, I just I just figured out how to I guess simplify it. Yeah, to where even if you haven't taken a class, you will be shimmying with me at the end of the class. So that's right. <laughs> <laughs> shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop. Yeah, <laughs> that is so much fun. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> no, the thing, the thing about belly is, and that's why I think so many people are attracted to it, is you could be any size, you know, uh, it's a different mindset. And that's why I think women are so attracted to it because it yeah. is a good workout. You will feel it. You'll feel your your abs and your, your legs. Like, really? Everything engages. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, my mom, if she didn't have bad knees, she's 70, 72, 73. Yeah. She's going to be doing it. You know, tell moms I said hi. I will. I, I will. didn't get to see her the last time. I know, but you will. You will. Okay, I will. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some private classes before I take your public class. Okay. <laughs> well, one one other last question I want to ask because I know that the yeah. fans are going to want to know, and because we've known each other for so long, and you know, before I asked you to do the Prince tribute, the first one we did for BET. You know, and yeah. I was so happy that you said yes. And I have all that footage that I filmed of oh, rehearsals. Wow. And it just meant a lot to me that you that you did the tribute with us. Um, you know, a lot of people don't get to see the two of us having a conversation. You know, they see us on stage, but actually not talking. So I'm going to ask yeah, you yeah. this question. People are going to want to know how, if they don't know, how did you first meet Prince? And for me to ask you that question, where did oh, you guys God. meet? Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> I, I remember the first time I saw him live, I was in Spain. Right. And then that was like, yeah. yeah. I mean, everybody has this, I mean, that's seen him live. It's just, it was, it was amazing. It was a show just nonstop, just, just nonstop. And it was in Spain. So you know how people in Spain are. They were just crazy yeah. jumping up and down. And, um, and it wasn't until two weeks later, it had all to do with my mom. Um, he had played a song in Spain, uh, Thieves in the Temple, where yeah. I had that little Arabic thing. And my, my dad was like, oh, my dad, you need to send him a tape of your dancing. Because, you know, for me, I was a professional dancer already. Yeah. And yeah. he's like, just to have that in your resume, being, mm -hmm. I got to perform, because I performed for Menudo. Not that anybody knew who Menudo was, but I did when I was a little kid. I danced for them, you know. And that's what they were thinking. They're like, you just got to, like, Maybe you can be in, in something of his. And I was like, okay, you guys are crazy. Okay. <laughs> but two weeks later, he was he was going to be in Germany where we lived. And um, my mom was like, you got to get him a tape. And I was like, you guys, I, I, how? How? How right, is that right. happen? You know? Right. And my mom, we went. We went. I made the tape. My mom, And we got backstage because Tony Damon and Kirk were like scoping out. And they remembered us from Spain. Oh, uh, right. So I, I met them. They were like, yeah, come on backstage. And, you know, you know, they were, it was sound check and everything. And we were there and my mom, like, she just veered towards <laughs> Gilbert at the time. It was actually Gilbert. She still uh -huh. remembers it. And she, and he's like, I'm sorry, ma'am, you can't, you know, she's like, well, you haven't heard the, seen the last of me. And she walks away and I was like, <laughs> oh my God, mama, what'd you do? <laughs> you know how moms are. Yes. So, yeah. So, um, yeah. And then I guess she asked Kirk and Kirk was like, sure, I'll give him the tape. And he gave him the tape, and then I met him like five minutes later. <laughs> and it was like, and he just, yeah, you know how he is. He's just, yeah. he was so nice. He was like, How old are you? And I was like, I'm 16. 16. <laughs> you know, and they're like, Well, I'd like to see some of your stuff. So, you know, you know, I'll, call, you know, sit in a VIP area, or whatever. And I was like, Okay. <laughs> and it was funny because he's like, We're going to call you later. And we were in Mannheim, and we lived in Germany, I mean, in Wiesbaden. So that was like a good hour and 15. We got home in 45. 
We got home in 45 minutes. And we we're trying to time it because he's like, okay, so he's in Mannheim. He said he's going to Frankfurt. We have to get, you know. And, you know, it was so funny because the phone rang and we all looked across the room, like, close up on the phone, you know. It was, it was a crazy moment. And it was funny because they never – they never called my name because they didn't know how to pronounce it. And, he, and then they finally admitted it. They were like, we weren't sure how to pronounce your name. I'm like, okay, no, it's my day, you know. But, yeah, that's how I met him. <laughs> wow. I know some of the story already, but that's how our moms are. My mom is the same way. She'll just, well, excuse me, you can't tell me no. Exactly. She, they do that all the time. Your mom is just like my mom. They're the same. They are the same. <laughs> I know. I know. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, no. yeah. Well, give me one. Give me one of your most. Uh, I I should say a memorable time with Prince. Something that you can share. Oh, uh, I mean, it was. We played in Amsterdam, and I'll never forget this because I, I guess it was Rotterdam, and it was like a. It was a warehouse, and oh. it was. It they they closed the vent because it was raining, and it got so hot in there. Like it was so hot that the guy was flash dancing and throwing water on me. And, you know, and he, he looks over and everybody's just throwing water on themselves. We were just drenched and his hair had completely fallen. And I was laughing because he had to put a hat on and he was giving me the funny faces. I was like, oh, I'm just laughing. <laughs> and, you know, there's so many funny moments, but like, yeah, yeah you know, on yeah. stage, it's always, yeah. Yeah. it's always a party. It is. It's always a party and a lot of fun. Yeah. Know. Great memories. I know. You know. yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Well, but anyway, I, 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 yes, I love having conversations with my sisters and my brothers and, and in these times. And I just wanted you to share, you know, how important it is and what you've been doing that is so important in rescuing all these animals and that people have access to call you. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's called Boogie Time. Boogie was a, a golden a golden retriever that I had years ago, and she was just so sweet. And I was, also like the word boogie. Like a little buddy. And we have dogs there all the time. We're getting new ones all the time. And we take donations. We take uh, blankets. Uh, if you have any weed pads or if you have any, you know, rice, we use a lot of rice. But, uh -huh. you know, and then when we, if you ever come to Vegas, come by. It's fun. Uh, okay, good. Yeah. Well, everybody, please keep in touch with my tape. Follow her. And if you need a dog, really, she's got the sweetest dogs ever. I yes. do. I cats, really. too. I'm trying to do cats, too. Okay. Well, cats, mm -hmm. too. All right. Well, there you go. Thank you so much. I love Thank you. you. Love nice you seeing too. you. All right. Love you. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. Uh, I love my tape. My sister, love her so very much. I hope that if you need and want an animal, please go to My Taze Rescue uh, Boogie Time right there in Vegas, and she has a website. We have the information. I'm so happy to see her, and I hope that you learned a little bit of something. It's just nice having conversations with family and with friends. We hope you enjoyed it right here on Sheila ETV.